So, how have you found the environment since coming into it this season and that? And just your thoughts on, on the squad, the strength and the depth in the squad? No, it's been phenomenal. You know, it's been a phenomenal eight weeks being a part of it. You know, um, you know, you can see the culture which is created. You know, it's reaping the benefits from the results. You know, so no, and the environment is unbelievable. You know, guys get along, whether you're abroad or local guy. You know, everyone sees the same goal and the same dream for this team. You know, and um, like the two mentioned, you know, there's a bind to that. And I think at the moment the strength, you know, is the the depth. You know, you know, you, I mean. The team that's playing this weekend, you know, is still a competitive team, and we, it's, it's great players all around, you know. So just looking forward to being out there. Yeah. yeah. So you've been through this before. You you clearly continue with them. You missed out. Um, so you know how how tense and how nervous it gets at this stage. The week or so before the the, the announcement. How, just what's going through your mind now? And obviously, given that this is the almost the last chance to the team press, uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah. Well, I just. I'm thankful for the opportunity, first of all, you know, just to get out there, like I just mentioned now, with the boys and stuff, and just um, show what you can do, you know, and um, at the end of the day, it's out of your hands, you know, all you can do is just uh, produce and show what you can do, and um, whether the coaches think that is good enough, or, you know, whoever the selectors are, but um, at the end of the day, there's a bigger picture, and you just want to represent your country as, at the best as you can, and just play for your brothers, yeah. Marshall, just how has the journey personally been in the last year or so? I mean, I, I suppose last season you were just actually focusing on getting back on the field, staying injury-free and just getting back into the group. Now you're in contention for a World Cup squad place again. Just just reflect on that journey perhaps, please. No, it's been phenomenal. If you would have asked me a year ago, if I would have sat here talk to you guys, I would have said, no way, you know. And uh, that just shows you, um, you know, it's, a good, it's been a great journey for me so far, you know. Uh, a year ago, I thought I was thinking about retirement at one stage, you know, with the with the niggles that I had, you know, continuously. But um, being back in the mix with the box and uh, being with your friends and uh, just soaking up every everything, you know. So for me personally, it's just about enjoying every moment and also um, learning as a player. You know, you did miss out on this couple of last two years, but uh, the professionalism and the coaches and the players and how they've grown, you know, as well. You know, you just feed off from that. You know, it will be good to blend in with your own play. Yeah. Given how um, the frequency of your injuries were and that they were pretty much in the same place almost, um, what did you do um, fitness-wise to actually get back um, on track? Is there, is there anything specific that you that you realised you need to do to avoid you know being so so much injured again? Yo, you know, um, there's one thing you can't control, and that's injuries. You know, and uh, but uh, I think the rehab stages was vital. You know. Um, and uh, you know it's rugby. It's a physical sport. It's a contact sport. And whether you <coughs> simple, you know, sometimes sometimes people get injured without even taking contact. You know, it's the way of the game. You know, but I think the biggest emphasis um, was the rehab. You know, the process with the ACL. It is a nine month injury, so it's a lot of patience and hard work and stuff. You know, but um, you know, sitting here realizing it actually, you know, it was this moment for this playing for the Springboks and that dream and the passion of five might to let me get me get myself up again every time, you know, chasing a dream that's bigger than yourself, you know, and uh, that ultimately pulled me through. And I must say my faith played a huge role in this, you know, the support of my family, my friends, and just helped me get up to the horse again and just keep on fighting, yeah. Well, so you're obviously looking, you know, beyond the World Cup and that, you know, being injury free and, and playing beyond the World Cup. Um, and this must give you lots of hope for that to, to continue for a couple of years for. You're not done with rugby, are you? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's um, like you said, you know, there's a bigger picture and uh, just grateful for every minute and every opportunity and if I can show it on the field or whether it's off the field, you know, helping the boys, prepping or getting ready, you know, it's just phenomenal being in the in the system again and, and in the culture, yeah. Marcel, how do, you, how do you differ now from the youngster that played for the Sharks? Oh, well, um, yeah, yeah, like um, I think experience-wise, you know, you've picked up a lot of experience playing abroad now you know um, obviously those first two seasons didn't go as well as you planned but uh, I think a bit more maturity and um, how to handle things now and stuff you know and uh, just getting yourself ready mentally as well and um, I think um, game wise you know you developed a little bit more looser you know I played a lot of eight men for Ulster you know so that helped me work on some weak points and stuff you know and um, yeah just basically that. I'm not going to call you old myself but you've been around for a while um, are you excited about the talent coming through in South Africa? No, it's great. Uh, no, if you look at them, um, even at school level and uh, professional levels, you know, and, and the team itself, you know, we, we're sitting with a bunch of guys that are going to really uh, do well this season, you know, going forward to the World Cup. Whoever gets picked at the end of the day, 
and they'll, they'll do their best and represent the best as they can for their country, you know. And uh, no, I think South Africa is a very good spot at the moment, and it's just getting harder and harder here. So, so who benches more at gym? <laughs> yeah, no, only one guy, Beast, man. <laughs> <laughs>